Okay, back for another video. Been away for a while with the Thanksgiving and this and that. Working on the brakes. Got the brake lines installed. Uh, that was pretty uneventful. And then installed the uh, park brake or emergency brake handle and cables. And so that's in. But then I ran into the problem of this bracket right here that connects the end of the cable to the, your park brake here. The adapter they give you wouldn't fit. So here's what they give you. They give you this gadget right here. And it's not really gonna work. Now here's what the instructions say. These are the the latest instructions and say it should give you that as we can see this is not quite that a little different so i started modifying this put a slot in it to go down over the cable and uh would go this way over the cable but it wasn't going to work it's not quite long enough so i ended up fabricating this piece here out of a, uh, <clears throat> just some stuff I had laying around and worked, works pretty good. So that's installed right there. So there's a hole and I made that slot with a uh, angle grinder, this slot here. Just turned it over this way and ground the slot in there and uh, filed it just a little bit with a a small chainsaw file I had and so that takes care of the fitment now I read a few people said they couldn't get the clips on right here this clip I was able to get that clip on I did have to put a washer under here I don't know if you can see that so I added a washer to the top of the the e-brake cable fitting and then put it through and then I was able to put this clip the clip in and it's well that's nice and tight in fact I had to tap that in with a little hammer. So, that's the brake lines, or the e-brake. Now, not quite done with the brake system. I still have the reservoir to put in. I, I decided to put it here after a lot of thought. Guys put them here. I'm gonna put it right here for now. I did not use the, uh, I'm using a single reservoir, which is what comes with the kit. So I'm trying to build this mostly like the kit. Now, ideally, you would have two reservoirs, one for front and rear, and connect to the, your, your uh, master cylinders there. But, uh, you know, I've got a, seems like a really great e-brake. I'm not too worried about losing um, all my fluid. And, you know, it, it could happen, obviously, if you cut one of the lines or got a hole somehow in the front of the rear. The idea is, hey, now you lose all your fluid if you have a dual cylinder. So no doubt dual cylinder is better and I probably will get to that eventually, but as I've said before, I'm trying to build this just as it comes uh, without uh, any of the embellishments or improvements until later. Um, and the reality is I've never, uh, I've never lost a brake line or I know anybody who has, I, I know it's happened. I know it can't happen. And like I say, I'll probably make that update eventually, but for now I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, and that's it. I also have the fuel lines, I've got the fuel lines installed, but I'll do a different video on that. That's it.